Well, in, you know, the summer of 2023 went down as Texas's second hottest ever with an average temperature of about 85 degrees between June and the end of August. That's according to the Texas Tribune. Well, one North Texas organization is preparing for the dry summer heat before it even arrives. Joining us right now this morning is Austin Street Center CEO Daniel Roby. Good morning to you, Daniel. Good morning, Cleo. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Can you tell us more about the Austin Street Center before we get into things and what you guys do here in the community? For over 40 years, Austin Street Center has been providing safe shelter, meeting the basic needs of some of the most vulnerable homeless in our community. Uh, this means, of course, three hot meals. Um, it means showers, restrooms, and over 40 activities that we use to help people go from homelessness to a permanent home of their own. You know, when you see the homeless population, I guess, out on the streets, right, especially here in downtown Dallas, you just wonder what do they do with extreme weather, severe weather? What are you guys preparing for when it comes to the hot Texas summer months? Well, we know that the summer is going to be very hot because it always is here in Texas. As the largest provider uh, of services for people who, and who need shelter and day services at Austin Street Center, we're also a trusted partner with the city of Dallas. And they've asked us to be able to be the inclement weather shelter provider wow. anytime the temperatures get either really hot or really cold. So we're gearing up for additional shelter. Uh, we're trying to make sure that we have everything that we need to take care of everyone's needs. Um, as we know that uh, it can be life-threatening uh, when temperatures get to a heat index of over 100 degrees. It sure can, and that's a big task to take on. How many people can you actually house, and what are you able to provide with for them in such a short notice like that? Well, we have uh, over 450 beds that are available every single night of the week, 365 days a year. Uh, that means breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It means all the services I mentioned earlier. But more importantly, during inclement weather events, we often open up an additional shelter. So we have wow. uh, another facility that opens up up to 360 people in that facility. So we're approaching about 800 um, you know, people that are be on campus uh, receiving shelter. And this is so important as we have literally thousands of people on the streets that are in need of these basic services. Uh, we also want to make sure that everybody knows about these services. So we partner with other agencies, nonprofits, mm. organizations like Our Calling, where they uh, activate their homeless emergency broadcast system that send text messages to everybody um, that we know of that's homeless that has access to a cell phone to make sure that they know that shelter is available for them. Now, I know you guys can always use donations. For anyone watching right now, how can we help? Oh my gosh, there's so many things that we need right now. Uh, you know, certainly, please, if you are coming through your closets and you're clearing out, uh, think of us. If you have any men's jeans, uh, you know, if you have, you know, razors, lotions, black hair care products, bar soap is a big need right now. And so if you have t-shirts that are double and triple extra uh, large sizes, we, we need all those as well. So any of your in-kind donations, please go to 1717 Jeffrey Street, where we're located, and drop those things off. And Daniel, before we go here, are you ever looking for volunteers? How can people continue to support the Austin Street Center? We do need volunteers. And if you want to be engaged in this work and serve people that have significant need, please go to our web website at austinstreet.org and click volunteer. We would love to have you uh, and we'll take you through the entire process. Make sure that you have everything that you need and are comfortable uh, with serving our clients, whether that's organizing our back room, distributing items that I mentioned earlier, uh, or, or just there to be a smiling face uh, and offer hope, you know, healing and home to people who need it. And I also saw that big event, No Place Like Home. Yes, No Place Like Home. We're so excited about it. Around the corner at the Fashion Industry Gala, it's going to be on you know, May the uh, 2nd, and we're going to be able to have uh, hundreds of people come and help uh, raise awareness and uh, raise resources so that we can continue this work every day of the year. All right, Daniel Roby, the CEO of Austin Street Center, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your insight. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you.